Yeah, I want to shout out Pound for Pound DVD. I want to make sure all y'all listeners, all y'all followers is following me, at Kid Chocolate. Get me on Instagram, at Kid Chocolate. Make sure you hit the Facebook. We going viral. And make sure y'all know that I'm inspiring people along the way. And that's all that's important. Pound for Pound DVD here with Peter Quillen. I should rap right Kid now, Chocolate. man. What's going on, baby? First, I want to know, you know, the feeling when you first got the call, the text, whatever, that you were going to fight in the Barclays Center. What was your initial reaction? My initial action is that I got to wear the freshest jays to this press conference, so I just got to come out with these ones, you know. Okay. Showing my American true colors, but also representing Cuba as well, but... Man, it's a blessing, man. Y'all y'all been following me for a long time. Y'all know my struggle. Y'all know what I've been through. And you know, to be part of this car and, and to fight for a, a world championship, it's my dream come true right here. It's my opportunity. God said when that light come on, you gotta shine. So, you know, that's what I'm gonna do. October 20th is come up in there with all my heart and all my soul. Well, I take us back to your last fight, because your last fight, you know, you was against a, a talented veteran, Winky Wright. Um, you went in there, fought a very wonderful fight. You know, you even knocked him down. Winky ain't been knocked down. And, who knows how many years. Um, what was your motivation going into that fight? My dad being coming to this country fighting 32, being here 32 years, you know, coming here to fight and get us opportunity in this country, you know, and then, you know, I'm still fighting for that same opportunity, standing for some of the same things that my dad stand for, you know, and just, like I said, it's emotional at the same time, just let me know how far I'm going, where I'm headed. So, like I said, when I say it's already written, God already got his plan all set out for me. All I got to do is work hard and just, you know, make sure that it, when it's when it's time to shine, then I'm ready to do it and I'm prepared for it. So, P, like you said, it's been a long road, you know, you've been fighting a lot of New York, you fought in the ballrooms and all that. Tell the people the major move that you made, which, you know, to the West Coast, how that began and the call and how that situation went down. Well, you know, I made myself uncomfortable about moving to California. I wanted to challenge myself. Boxing is all about a challenge, so, you know, stepping out and training with the four or five time trainer of the year, Freddie Roach, you know what I'm saying? It's a blessing with him to even say, yo, I'm t I take this guy on and make him a world champion. So, you know, with that being said, you know, it got me to this point where I'm at right now, fighting for my first legitimate world title. And, you know what I'm saying? This is this is a dream come true. So, you know, I guess moving to California was a good thing for myself. I signed with Golden Boy. I got with Al Heyman. I still got my managers intact. You know what I'm saying? So, just to let you know how much dedicated and loyalty I got with keeping my people, the same people that I've been working with, you know what I'm saying? Keeping them alive and, you know, make sure that it's time to win this world championship, I'm making them happy as well. You know what I'm saying? What do you know about this guy that you're going against for the title? I know you got braids. No, I'm playing. Um, I know you got a world championship, WBO. That's all I, I really care about. I said, I told y'all before that, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't care less if my mom held that title and they was trying to make a fight with me and her. You know, I'm going to be ready for it. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, this guy I signed is a good fighter, good champion. You know what I'm saying? This is what challenge, this is where the challenge come from because I, I, I think that everything that he does, I can do it better. All right, let's look at the fronts, man. Let's take a, a, a look at the, who's the, who's the, um, the designer? Oh, uh, Gabby right here, downtown Brooklyn over here. Not With, here. Oh, right, oh, okay. Right here, so when they said <laughs> I don't get nothing from Brooklyn, I got my J from Brooklyn, I got my girls from Brooklyn. I got a lot of my heart, a lot of personality. I got it from right here in Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm very blessed, like I said.